how are you all? It's sad to be cold in Egypt, as you can see. Right now, the degree is about 20 in Alexandria, so for us, it's really the official cold. Anyway, away from the weather. We are going to speak today about long distance relationship. Because, as I noticed, many of us experience this and it brings us problems which we are not aware of. And because this topic I experienced by myself many times, let's say, so I am kind of expert in it. And I can advise you because my long distance relationship at the end was very successful. It was with my husband and we are together more than 10 years happily married. So that's why I want to open this topic and maybe give you even a little bit of advice if it's possible. Let's see how the conversation will flow. For the first time of my life, I know who I am. My heart belongs to no one but Egypt. It's because of their poetry of life and freedom. So at the start, I will divide the long distance relationship to two categories. The first one is many of you experience that you meet some guy online, you never saw him before and you start to be in a relationship. And the second is that you saw the person or you are already possibly married and you have to get separated because of a job most often or any other circumstances in the life. It truly really doesn't matter, but the fact is that you already was together and you had to go separate ways. So we are going to discuss both of the cases. I will start by the very first one that you start to date online the guy and you never saw him. Trust me, like, oh, and believe me, as I always say, Egyptians are kind of different than any other man. So even this is a little bit specific because Egyptians go to such a kind of relationship very, very often. But there are two main points which you have to be focused on. You have to be focused, the first one is the age. How old are you and how old is he? Because it's something different when you make this kind of relationship when you are a teenager and something else when you are adult and something else when you are already in older age. You understand me? For example, I was in such a relationship with my husband, as I mentioned, but we were teenagers. I was 17, he was 20. So it was really, really different. Like now, as an adult woman, if I had the decision to go to such a relationship again, I will probably don't do it again. Okay, because of the age, because of the experience and so on. And the second point is, it's about trust. Yes, you never know what the second person is doing on the other side. But the communication online uh, is on one side a good thing, but on the other side a bad thing. It brings a lot of problems to our lives, a lot of jealousy. Most of the time can be even misunderstood the conversation online. It is really a huge topic by itself. However, my point, if you already go to such a relationship you are in, the very first thing you have to do is you must deal with the person some ending point. What I mean by end point? <laughs> Good question. You have to deal on some specific date you are gonna meet in the future, all right? You cannot be with someone in a relationship online and you don't have a plans to get, you don't have plans to actually meet. If you let it open like that, so it will not work. You have no plan or responsibility or you are not serious about this relationship, you know? But if you are really serious about the relationship, you are in love for sure, if it's both-sided, you will want to meet each other and as soon as possible. Well, I can tell you exactly I did this point with my husband, even I wasn't aware of this, but we dealt as a teenager that if you don't meet till three years, so then we'll break up. Luckily, we meet exactly on the three years. Otherwise, I can tell you honestly, we will possibly not be together really. We will over it because to stay with someone in such a relationship is not easy, and especially if you never met before, all right? Because in some point, I can admit that, it starts to be boring, right? It will start to be boring because you only wish and dream about the person to be with and to have some plans which are not gonna be true. And if it keeps too, too long, then you will be bored. Or you will meet someone else randomly, possibly. You know, you never know what will happen in the life. 
and if it's boring for you as a woman so trust me for the men it's much easier to be bored more quickly to be bored from that so that's why you need to, some end point some meeting point you have to simply deal about it now let's discuss the second point which is trust trust issues well <laughs> this is not easy honestly I, if you never met this person and you don't know how he react how he behave in fact you know because as i told the online conversation is something else and when you meet the person it's totally new game okay absolutely new one however you have to put the trust to each other all right without trust you cannot be in such a relationship and it's not easy now this especially because of social media right because you can see oh this guy randomly likes some girl or he posts some photo or he told you he's somewhere and then he's somewhere else and like this and the devil start to work in your mind so what i will recommend to you simply if you decided for this or simply trust maybe make yourself kind of blind if you can well but not that blind okay if there is a huge red flags for sure feel it see it live it trust it but i speak about such like little things which are so don't make fight from useless things all right then with this is connected uh, even your long distance relationship it's very nice if the partners are involving to each other in the day life what they are doing how they are feeling how they spend their life if they share the information okay well uh, many people can say and you know, advise the woman like be busy show him that you're not available and so on i don't agree with this that much all right i believe you as a woman for sure you you must have your life you shouldn't count it your partner is the source of your happiness no i believe that each person is responsible for its own happiness actually uh, and i believe for women to achieve this is much harder than for the men because we are more likely to become dependent on the men i mean emotionally dependent all right i don't speak about financial now i speak about emotions and feeling and so on so so if you love someone we tend to fall for this person totally but it's not absolutely correct simply keep your life simply work on yourself enjoy your time with your friends with your work whatever you do but just involve the partner to it to see like what's going on because if you involve each other to do daily details so it may the love more or the bond more okay that's what i believe well and maybe the last thing which i will tell you towards this relationship is you should be there for each other if something serious happen or you have some problem your partner should be the first one who you should go for and i believe again both sided even with egyptian men right like even if egyptian man has some problem and he wanna speak with someone feel better he should share with you like with his partner with his love so maybe you should be even kind of a best friend all right so have a trust in each other respect in each other and be even best friends for each other because that's how normal relationship event works so the point of long distance relationship you actually act like you are together even you are not together just with all those feelings cares and loves and support you can provide each other even online maybe you can ask now okay so how do i actually know that the Egyptian man is serious with me about a long distance relationship well <laughs> this can be on whole another video but in a short version it will be the very similar way i told it he will include you to his life to his daily life what he is doing and so on as i just mentioned but he will even introduce you even online to his family and he will have a plans with you this is a very important point if he plans the future with you how many kids you will have where you will live how you will do it with the jobs or if he tell you who is going to be responsible for the money in your house and so on and so on this we all discussed previously uh, but it belongs here as well simply for me the very first red flag which you can notice if egyptian man doesn't have a plan with you to the future he doesn't come with you and especially with the marriage and children if he doesn't mention those two things so you are not that important to him Learned. well then very tricky thing which i see in long distance relationship nowadays with egyptian men and especially when you are in older age or he is in older age that he possibly can be married 
and he doesn't have to admit it to you and you never know so this is the one thing really which is very very confusing and you will not know the truth until you meet him or he will admit it okay but sometimes even some women meet the man and they will never guess that he is married and he will admit it after some long time so this has actually no advice i believe well well the only advice in this point would be he will show you his documents because if he's married he should have it written in his id or in his passport but hmm, doesn't have to be 100 percent in egypt it works or it worked before that if you didn't want it to be written there it doesn't have to well then he should wear a ring if he doesn't wear it's very easy for you to to not wear it so the only document which you can be sure of is the official marriage contract which he should have if he is really married just uh, take care of this point put it to your mind and if you are in the older age so try to discuss try to ask him straight like if he's married or not and then also take care of the point that many egyptian men are going to this kind of distant relationship for the purpose that they want to get away from egypt they want to move away from Egypt, start new life somewhere else. This is a very, very common with Egyptian men. I believe 90% of Egyptians want to leave Egypt. So you have to discuss with him on the very start where you will live, all right? There's nothing wrong if you agree that you wanna be with this person so you will help him to get abroad. All right, it's your decisions. But don't let him to use you for this purpose, okay? Because how the game is played, they simply marry some women to get them out even they don't love her and this is most of the case of the younger Egyptian men and older foreign women once they're abroad they divorce her and marry some young girl that's really how it's played I'm sorry to tell you but it's fact well if you are young and you don't have this problem fine go for it if you want to but I will test him I will test him for example I will tell him I will say what if he's in Egypt what will happen and see his reaction or be clever and tell him, okay, if you go abroad with me, fine, no problem, I will do it for you. But you are still the man and, and you still will provide for us the money, the house, the food, anything. He is a man in Egypt here, so if he married you here, he will have to do all of this. So why abroad you will not agree on these conditions? Right? Because if he doesn't agree that he will provide for you as a woman, even abroad, then he's searching for something like for example money and the way how to use it for money so take care of this as well well we are running out of time so uh, very quickly i will mention the second case which i mentioned uh, that you already met you already may be armored and you had to go separate ways maybe because of jobs whatever i was in this position <laughs> as well many times but let me tell you if you are already married and you know this person very well so you already built some life built some trust so it's really a little bit different for sure as a husband and wife you should be in touch all the time and discuss important stuff together for sure but to be honest uh, and this is not for a recently married couple this is maybe for a couple of which are together like three four five years and more me personally i find it kind of useful especially if you have a children so let's say that if my husband traveled before i find myself it's time for me to kind of rest or achieve my dreams or meet my friends which i will normally have no time for right it can be some kind of let's say relief relaxing time even for yourself but i know that many people for example couldn't imagine this right many married couple will say i cannot stay away from my husband and many women think that once the husband leave he will cheat and so on well everything really depends upon your religion and upon the trust to each other as i mentioned at the start without trust you have nothing really that's a fact for sure i admit there's always the devil work speaking in your head hey what if he do this and this and this and but he has the same he can really ask the same about you have you considered this it's not only about the man cheat but even the man is afraid that the woman is cheating so this is very important to be loyal to each other and there is some kind of little bit advice for you if possibly your husband will cheat on him you will know it trust me you will know it 
very easy. We women have a kind of uh, such a feeling from God, which the men don't have, but we have. We can feel it in our hearts. Maybe he will change how the way how we speak or the emotion between each other, or simply you will know it by yourself. Even if you have no proof in your hands, you will be sure of it. You will know it. But here's the tricky thing. Many women decide to ignore this feeling, to don't listen to this feeling. But it's a little different thing, <laughs> okay? But anyway, if you don't have such a feeling, so don't let the devil speak in your head. No. Ignore this voice, the bad voice. Always go for the good voice. Trust the good voice, okay? Well, and for sure you have to be nice to each other, even if you are in distance. So this is something good if you have a children. So the Egyptian man always will want to see his children and he will always call you how you are and so on. So the basics. If you will fight and be in negative energy, for sure, neither one of you will look forward on each other. Right? It can happen in the distance. But if you provide to each other beautiful words, beautiful calls, love words, anything about love and romantic stuff, how you look forward for each other and so on, it will build the love more and you will look for each other more, right? And the distance actually will support your love and then every time you meet again and again, it will be like you met for the first time and the love can renew. Yeah, this many people don't believe. I don't know why, but I can admit this very, very easy. Well, because I experienced many times with my husband. Even there's some point in the marriage and for sure there is a well-being in every marriage. So, so even the distance after can help you and help you reconnect the relationship again. And then when you meet, you can fall in love to this person again over and over. Because if it's the true love, it will really never finish. The true love will stay there forever, even if you have problems. But it's always about the trust and respect, loyalty, right? Those three things. If you don't have those three things, you cannot survive this. If you have it, then it will be very easy for you and the love will become stronger and stronger every time. Well, if you want to know more about long distance relationship, so check out our online course, which will be in the link in the description. And I believe next week I will have a surprise for you and something I'm working on so you can look forward for something I'm preparing and I will let you know soon what is it. Well, and the thing which I want to know from you now is if you have been in a long distance relationship with Egyptian men and the result of it. Was it a happy ending or was it a disaster? I would really love to listen to your opinions in the comments and see you next time.